second half sorting technique, we're going to be in high serpent this time, inviting an attack toward our armpit again to draw our opponent inward. So I'm in high serpent, slightly squared up to him. He's going to be in low serpent, stepping off, getting me in the armpit. Same 45 degree step we worked on before, right in there. One more time. He steps and stabs, and obviously I would not like this very much. So when he does this, I'm going to step offline, and I'm going to cover with my blade. Remember, he's armored as well, so this isn't really a cut. This is just pressing his arms down. From here, I thrust in to the inside of his elbow, piercing between the bones. I'm going to turn the blade up, leaving a gaping hole where his inside elbow once was. Stepping back from here, I will hit him in the head with the pommel. And then, just to prove that I'm a horrible, evil fighter, I come in, hook him around the neck, and then row backwards and dump him on the ground. From here, having plenty of options as to how I can finish him off. Let's uh, switch sides. So again, I'm in high serpent. He comes in. I cover, stab, lift, come back in, and then row, and then pretty much do whatever I want. So this time David is going to be in the high serpent, I will be in the low serpent, I go to attack him, he covers, he stabs into my elbow, lifts, cracks me in the head with the pommel, hooks around, notice the pinch, his pommel is pinching my neck very tightly, his forearm is cutting off my air a little bit, he then rows and tosses a man almost twice his size with very little effort. One more time. Having low serpent, I go for the attack. He covers, stabs, lifts, hits, pinches tight, drops. And that is the second half-sorting technique.